Folks, you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to this one because if you know what we're giving away, I'm gonna mention it later very clearly in the video. You're gonna know what it is. All you gotta do is leave a comment down below to be entered in it. You're gonna have your option to pick whatever one might work for you. We're gonna select three winners. We'll give you the rules at the end as well. So pay attention, this is gonna be fun. Folks, how are we doing? Welcome to Good Works Tracks. Who's gonna talk about ballast weight today. You know, it's been a long time. We've had a lot of new subs since the last video we posted about this. We take it very seriously. Our channel sponsor is RimGuard for good reason. And before that it was Bora wheel spacer so there's a theme here so 10 types of ballast weight you know and you think ballast weight is only well you think you're paying for dead weight right just to to do nothing but in reality not only are you paying to keep your tractor safer so you go home and one piece at the end of the day, but it also makes your tractor more efficient because it's keeping the rear end planted to the ground. So you can lift more weight with it. You can move where you need to <laughs> at a regular pace instead of trying to unload some weight and do whatever else. So there's other benefits besides just uh, paying for weight, which, you know, I'm with you there. I'm with a lot of you guys trying to, to, to get away from having to do it. And so that is actually something that Summit Tractors takes very seriously as well and why I was one of the reasons I was proud to align with them is that their tractor is the heaviest in the class. It comes with rim guard in the tires already. They are setting you up for safety and success right out of the gate from the factory. Most other manufacturers don't do that. Okay, so we've got 10 forms of ballast weight and one of these is gonna be free. I'll let you know what that is too. But first we're gonna talk about liquid ballast in general because I like it a lot because it's, it's just hidden out of the way. A lot of these ballast weight options are gonna tie up your three point hitch and then you have to make a tough decision sometimes. Do I want as much weight as I can put on there or do I want a useful tool? So Liquid Ballast, like RimGuard, who is our channel sponsor, fits right inside the tires. This tractor has over 300 pounds of weight just hiding in these tires here out of the way, but you know it's there and you know it's gonna help keep you planted to the ground. Folks down south, if they can get away with using water, washer fluid, those are good options as well. You don't want something that corrodes. RimGuard is not corrosive. It doesn't freeze, it's all natural. It's gonna be the heaviest all natural uh, weight Weight on the market on a per gallon basis, so it's a really good option to consider. Sticking with your wheels and tires, of course, wheel weights are gonna be a great option. Now, every tractor is not set up to, I should say every tractor wheel, I guess, is not set up to accept wheel weights. I don't think the Summit takes it. Their tractor is actually heavy enough the way that it is, but I think there's some Kubota B series and standard L series, and I know there's other models out there that are not going to accept wheel weights, um, but it's another option to, to get that weight off of the three-point hitch and, and put it here. You know, the further back your weight can go, the more effective it's gonna be. Well, and for the simple understanding, that pivot point you know, of unevenness or where things are gonna tip back and forth is gonna be the front axle, your front tires, right? And so the further back this way from your front tires you can go, the more effective that weight's gonna be. The closer towards it, the less effective. Now we have one more option for you too on the rear axle down there, and that's gonna be wheel spacers. And wheel spacers are good for a couple of reasons. Number one, they're, gonna, they're widening the footprint of your tractor. And a lot of these tractors are tippy this way, not just front to back but side to side too you can see how high i'm sitting up as well and and there's just well the bigger you go the more stable they are naturally but the smaller the tractors typically the more narrow and, and kind of tippy side to side they are so wheel spacers spread that out and if you get steel wheel spacers which i do prefer the aluminum they're less maintenance you don't have to prime them or paint them or anything else like that but if you go with steel wheel spacers you're going to have the most amount of weight that you can add uh, as far as the spacer goes on there and so if you get a small tractor like a 1025 or a BX, not a lot of weight, but if you get something like a three or a four series tractor, those pounds really start to add up. And of course, Bora is still a sponsor of ours and we are proud to have them on board. All right, now I know you're thinking, man, this stuff is adding up to be a lot. Well, this one is your freebie, all right? And that is you yourself, okay? So if you are a, uh, a small operator, well, this is not gonna be as effective, but if you, well, you know, if you could go on a diet or stand to lose a few pounds, well, hey, use that to your advantage and maybe hold off on that diet, okay? Maybe you're just doing it for safety reasons. And the more weight you have on here, again, that weight is a little bit higher, but it's still at least front to back helping out your case in this scenario. But uh, side to side, well, if you have too many pounds, maybe you do want to consider those spacers. Now, one I forgot about, actually, uh, still on this same rear axle before we move back to the three-point hitch, is going to be a set of dual tires, dual wheels and tires. And these are really only made right now for the smaller tractors, uh, the 26 12 12s, like the John Deere 1025, 1023, your whole Kubota BX lineup for the most part, and similar size tractors, but you can put a dual wheel setup on there. 
Typically that's not gonna work with a mower deck, but if you don't have a belly mower on there, then that can be a really good option. Um, some other trade-offs to consider could be potentially more axle stress on there with you know another 12 inch wide tire on here. But as far as stability goes, those made a huge difference when I ran them for a full year. I saw no detrimental effects to it at all. Felt incredibly stable when I use them. And those are sold by a partner of ours, millertire.com. You'll save 5% with code GWT over there. So this next one is good and bad. Now from a front and back perspective, this is great. And that's gonna be a cab for your tractor. You know, really effective, adding hundreds of pounds more on the backside, keep the rear wheels planted down when you're using your front end loader. But from a tippiness factor, side to side, that gets more of your center of gravity higher up. And that makes for a more dangerous situation. So to offset that, you're definitely gonna to wanna to put more weight down low like in those tires with the liquid ballast and the rim guard like wheel weights uh, potentially wheel spacers or dual wheels so you have more stability this way as well so that one's a double-edged sword it can work to your advantage but it can also work against it all right one of our very popular setups that we sell is going to be the versa bracket bundle this goes right on your three-point hitch and not only is it three-point hitch compatible but it's also quick hitch compatible too so you can buy it as just the versa bracket if you already have suitcase weights or as a bundle as well and you can get a set of eight 41 pound weights, eight 70 pound weights right along with it. But not only is that gonna add weight where it's most effective way back there in the three point hitch, it's gonna be nice and compact and condensed. So you can take weights on and off easily individually in 41 or 70 pound increments, but it's also gonna have a built in two inch receiver or a trailer mover so you can move that around, chain hook so you can grab them onto things and tow them along. It's gonna have a platform there with a, a chainsaw holder or you can strap down a, a toolbox or whatever else you wanna put on there. A really good option all around. Next up is a ballast box. It is a cost-effective solution. However, the one that I used to recommend, I no longer recommend for a variety of reasons I covered in a recent video. So you're not gonna find a good link for me right now for a solution there. I'm still looking. If you are a manufacturer out there and you wanna work with me, I'd love to partner up and get something out there that's cost-effective and affordable. But if you want something else that maybe is like a ballast box on steroids, <laughs> you can check out the big tool rack. It's a big tool rack. You can put all your tools on there. It's got a big storage card in it, all sorts of accessories and options you can add on. You can keep it in your garage, take it out in the field with you, whatever you want to do. Hang suitcase weights on there too if you want to. A good option to consider, an alternative. It's definitely more expensive, but you can utilize it in quite a variety of ways. You'll save 5% with code GWT at bigtoolrack.com. Now another option that can be good and bad, just depending on the circumstances, sort of like how the cab was good and bad, is going to be an attachment just on your three-point hitch. And, and well, it depends what it is and it depends where you're working. You know, a lot of folks will say brush hog and that is very good at putting as much weight as far back as you could possibly go on your tractor. So that's very effective from a weight standpoint. Uh, the bad side is the fact that they tend to kind of swing and sway and can throw your tractor around a bit and that can be annoying if you're not actually brush hogging. Uh, two is if you're trying to work in confined spaces, it can be challenging to navigate and move around or potentially you whack into something you didn't want to whack into and, and ruin that or damage it at least or do some damage to your brush hog. Of course, there's smaller attachments like box blades and tillers and things too. So it just depends what you're looking to do. If you, you don't have something else, certainly put that on there so you can get by. But be aware that's a lot easier to cause damage intentionally or unintentionally when you forget that it's back there. Folks, now it's time to tell you more about our latest and greatest product. And some of you that have been following along have seen this product already here and there on our channel, but wanted to kind of do a big giveaway just to kind of really officially kick it off. And that's going to be our GWT hitch hangers. We have these available for the Spico Quick Hitch and the iMatch Quick Hitch just got released as well. Now, what I love about this ballast weight option is that it keeps things back on the three-point hitch, but it doesn't tie up your three-point hitch. And you may ask, how does it do that? And that's where the beauty of having a quick hitch comes into play, because if you have a quick hitch, then you can clamp these weight brackets right to either side of the quick hitch and you're going to be able to hang up to three 70 pound suitcase weights on either side and with the weight of the the hitch hangers as well you can get up to 450 pounds more ballast weight without tying up your three-point hitch and it's not closer to that fulcrum or that pivot point the weights back there where you need it and not only is it good as additional counterweight but it's also good as additional down pressure for situations when you want it, like with a landscape rake, a rear blade, a disc. Well, the list just goes on and on. But if you want to have more, if you're wishing you had down pressure, 
This doesn't like hydraulically give you down pressure, but that additional weight does a lot to help when you need it. So it's been a while since we've done this, but we're gonna do a giveaway. And in fact, we're gonna give away three pairs of hitch hangers to three lucky winners. And all you have to do to enter is to leave a comment down below. Duplicate comments won't help, but if you and your wife and your kids and your parents and whoever else all have their own accounts and leave a comment, more power to you. You do have to be a US resident. And we're gonna do the drawing on Monday, November 14th, 2022 at noon Eastern time. So your comment must be in before then and show up on our feed. And so when we use that random comment picture, your comments there in time to be selected for that. So we'll reply to those winner's comments shortly after that. Reach out, get your, your shipping information, let you select if you want the speaker or the iMatch hitch hangers and get them sent on to you. And don't worry if you happen to buy a set of hitch hangers and you wind up being a winner, we'll go ahead and refund you. Alrighty folks, that's gonna wrap it up for us today but I do want to remind you guys, if you're new to tractors, carry your weight low and go slow. And if you're looking for something for your tractor, we'd love to help you out. Check out goodworkstractors.com. We sell and ship all over the country. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Hit that subscribe button down below if you want to see more. And thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. Until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Yeah.